Hey, this is Rick with Kinderly Cichlids. This video is basically a huge announcement video. It's going to have some information about the fish, but for you who have kept up with some of my videos or are going to in the future, or, you know, hey, you just clicked on this video and you want to know what an icebreaker is, I'm going to give you some of that information. Basically, what's happening is, is this aquarium is the first aquarium that's being set up in my fish room. I'm having a one whole fish room with just aquariums. It's a different location. It's going to be a lot better at maintenance, keeping them good. I can do fish room tours more often. You're going to be able to see more of my fish. And I'll be able to do more of my videos. It's just going to be very exciting. I'm going to enjoy the hobby more. My fish are going to get better care. And it's just going to be great. So to top this all off, how, what, you know, what fish did I pick for my first aquarium to put in my fish room? Well, it's the fifth generation of icebreakers. All these down here are fifth generation icebreakers. And they're doing great. They're getting big. Now it'll take a while to get color because when you have a kind of a grayish alcacanora uh, peacock, basically it takes a while for them to color up. Been feeding them color food, and I believe they'll color up quicker than normal, but it still takes quite a while. So, basically, if you want to know what the full size icebreaker peacock is, I'm going to have a link to it on the left hand side of the, of the screen at the end of the video. And I also will have a older, it's like a third or fourth generation icebreaker on the right which is going to be in a video called why i mix my peacock cichlids uh it's just a little short video showing a really cool fish that came and originated from the icebreaker peacock so i got this set up uh that i got some new uh water in here of course because it's a new setup but the substrate's old it's not been with uh you know chlorine on it i've got the old filter mat so basically i have a lot of good beneficial bacteria in here so i was able just to set it up and run it go run it and get it going because basically you got all your back good bacteria in there I even i still have some algae on the glass and everything and it'll get cleaned up eventually but basically i wanted to make sure that there's a healthy setup for them right from the start I didn't have to do it gradually. I already have all this substrate in here and the, and the filter mat has got all that good beneficial bacteria. So I did it all in one day and that's really exciting. So let's just take a smaller look at the fish in this aquarium. And remember to make sure you click on those icebreaker videos on the left and the right at the end of this video to see what the adults look like. Let's get a little bit closer view of these guys right here and let you see what they look like. As you can see, there's a lot of them in here. A lot of icebreakers. Uh, they're doing really well. I think they'll grow a lot faster in this aquarium. This is about double the size of the aquarium that they were off from just a few days ago. Um, so doubling the size of the aquarium will allow them to grow faster. And I'll get to enjoy them a lot better. So basically, uh, it's just going to be a great time for the icebreakers and for me, uh, choosing them to be the first ones in the new fish room. Now there's a quite a bit of current in there. Now that I may change the setup in this aquarium, but I just want to make a video right from the start, right when the beginning really started, not like a week or two later, not a month later, actually when the new fish room started, which is beginning today the icebreaker peacock fifth generation so remember to click on those videos on the left and the right and thanks again for watching ricky kennerly cichlids